Hey everybody, uh, this is John Barron. And I'm Chris Horston. And uh, we represent Shark Aero here in North America. So behind us is uh, one of the earlier aircraft, right? So incredibly, with a little 100 horsepower Rotax 912, 100 horsepower, uh, it'll fly about 150 knots. Uh, the newer aircraft, like Chris's, has uh, gear doors, and it'll, they'll do 160 plus knots cruising all day. Uh, at, that, at that speed, uh, they're consuming something like seven and a half gallons per hour. And uh, if you want to be a little bit more conservative and fly at 135 knots, uh, then you're only cruising at about four gallons per hour. And if you have a 40 gallon tank like these airplanes do, then that's a lot of time in the air. We flew, we flew our plane over here from Toronto, the last little bit of the, the, the journey, from Toronto to Chicago to the show, Oshkosh, and we pretty much have enough fuel to turn around and go all the way back to Toronto uh, in the tank. So it's got quite an endurance, quite a number of uh, uh, miles of range, and uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about refueling every three hours or every four hours point I did some calculations and I figured um, I could fly my shark um, with those you know gear doors and all the rest of it I could fly non-stop all the way to Florida from Toronto so uh, the airplanes meant to you know I'd like to call the airplane a transcontinental and intercontinental airplane um, uh, Chris's airplane was flown to the show directly from the factory like how many other small airplanes do you know do that reliably um, you know, the airplane is known for its ex extended range and uh, comfort in the cockpit, uh, so much so that the airplane holds, what is it, six world records? Uh, six world records. Uh, yep, six world records, among which are two circumnavigations. A 19-year-old is on a high-flying adventure to break a world record. To some, it may seem daunting, but to Zara Rutherford, it's all about reaching new heights. There's a big difference between flying um, every now and again with your parents and flying around the world on your own. Um, I just thought, you know, I've got, I'm taking a gap year, I've got some spare time, why not do something crazy and uh, change my life a bit? Her parents are both pilots and began taking Zara up with them when she was still a toddler. Je veux vous parler ce soir de Zara Rutherford, une jeune femme de 19 ans qui a amorcé au début du mois un tour du monde imaginé en solo. It's often said the sky's the limit, but for 19-year-old Zara Rutherford, it's just the beginning. I'm trying to become the youngest woman to fly sail around the world. Touching down at JFK International Airport Thursday, pulling into the Shelter tarmac one week into her journey, which started in Belgium, where she's from. How does it feel to be in New York? It's really nice. Flying over the, I mean, all the skyscrapers is amazing. Taking flight to reach an inspiring goal, to be the youngest woman to fly around the world. And her journey brought her right here to South Florida. That's really who we're aiming this airplane at, is people who want to go on a, a cross country, but people who also want an agile airplane um, just to fly around the patch. So it, you know, it does a number of things very well. Uh, and uh, if you want to go fast, and you want to go far, we can do that. But if you want to stay close to home and uh, just have some fun, we can do that too. Okay, so John, um, you know, the rules in, this, in the US right now show that we have to fly this plane as an experimental. Tell me why that is. Yeah, so currently uh, the airplane actually is doesn't fit any normal category or usual categories in the US. Yeah. Uh, most people think it's a light sport airplane or it's a light sport aircraft, but you know, it has a controllable pitch prop, retractable gear, and it's fast as hell. 
With the new mosaic rules, um, it should allow for all that, right? So the shark as is uh, should fit in the expected mosaic rules. Uh, and actually, um, it should also allow for some quite a bit of growth for the airplane, right? Yeah. So I was going to ask you that. So like, what's what are the limits? Yeah, so currently, I, I, I can't remember what the actual um, stall limits, but I believe it's about 54 knots, right? Is the stall limits for the for the new mosaic rules, right? And the shark definitely is is you know is is, is way slower than that. Um, the the speed limits uh, actually go away, right? Uh, for light sport pilots, uh, you're still limited to one passenger. You only have one extra seat in the airplane, and uh, you know now you're allowed. Um, you, you're not limited to uh, fixed pitch uh, piston engine uh, airplanes, right? So that actually leaves quite a bit of development in kind of the power plants that go in the airplane. All that to say, uh, you know, as is, the Shark uh, will definitely fit in the mosaic rules. So for all of you light sport pilots who are uh, waiting for, uh, you know, a, a much more uh, capable airplane to fly. So the, currently, the, uh, they're in the uh, rulemaking process, or actually, the, they're, they're accepting, they're accepting oh, comments sorry. now. Yeah. Uh, that typically, that could be a couple of months, right? So we're probably, we're hoping, we're expecting that it'll happen uh, within a year, maybe a year and a half. So for a whole bunch of pilots, this means that the door is open for, um, for a plane like this just to slide right into that spectrum for light sport like, like so easily. And um, there's, there's no concern anymore about, oh, am I gonna exceed this limit or that limit? So, you know, if you wanna know more about the Shark, uh, I'm based in Virginia. Um, Chris is based in Toronto and in uh, Deland, Florida. So, um, yeah, if you want a demo ride, we'd be happy to hook you up. Uh, John has an airplane, I have an airplane. Seasonally, we're kind of back and forth between Toronto and Deland. Um, we will be traveling a lot with the Shark over the next uh, 12 months, between now and Oshkosh next year. We've, there's a lot of demos we want to do, so if you would like a ride, reach out to, to John or myself, and uh, we'd be happy to take you flying. We, we got a saying at Shark, if you fly it, you'll buy it. <laughs>